Hey guys, I'm David Ford and this is my video response to Marketing Mail's Top 10 Things You Can Do to Feel Comfortable in Front of the Camera. First of all, let me express my deep respect and appreciation of Mary Ellen Miller. She is both a true friend and a professional in the industry that I highly respect. Mary, this video is spot on. While these points are all very simple, they address the most important things that people think of when they're in front of the spotlight. I'm a very visual type of learner, so I think the best way that I can support what Mary Ellen has said here is to show you visually what it looks like when people ignore these tips. Tip number one, take a deep breath and relax. No one wants to see this in front of a camera. What do you know about Ray Finkel? Soccer style kicker, graduated from Collier High, June 1976, Stetson University Honors graduate, class of 1980. Holds two NCAA Division I records, one for most points in a season, one for distance. Former nickname the Mule, the first and only pro athlete ever to come out of Collier County, and one hell of a model American. <laughs> Tip number two, be yourself and be conversational. Pretend that you're carrying on a conversation with someone you already know, or you might end up like Dwight. Blood alone moves the wheels of history! Tip number three. Where do I look? Everybody appreciates eye contact. What if you're being interviewed? Then look at your interviewer. Tip number four. Hair, makeup, jewelry? Keep it simple. Nobody wants to see this. Mr. Rodman, I think you're doing it wrong. Tip number five. Facial expressions speak volumes. And the same can be said for the lack thereof. God bless Ben Stein. Bueller. Bueller. Here. Bueller. Tip number six. Yes, contrary to your friend's encouraging remarks, the camera does add ten pounds. And for some of us, a little bit more. Trust me, it's not a pretty sight. So, simple, solid colors really do go a long way. Tip number seven. Your mom was on to something. Sit or stand up straight. Else you end up with celebrity status for all of the wrong reasons. Yeah, I'll come by around six to pick up my diarrhea medicine. Oh yeah, of course. I'll still be on time for ballerina practice. Oh, wait, is this thing still on? Tip number eight. Pretend like the mic is always on. Tip number nine, don't forget your hands. They are on display just as much as your facial expressions. Finally, tip number 10, now is not the time for lengthy speeches. Keep it simple, think elevator pitch. Well, thanks for viewing some of my support to Marketing Mel's tips for being comfortable in front of the camera. Don't forget to stop by her website, marketingmel.com, for some sage advice on personal branding. And stop by to hear the musings of a social media madman at thesocialdrifter.wordpress.com. Thanks.